For years, my master had trained the Poseidon Bones, a noble warrior. He had become a fine sword. work, huh? Uh, I don't know. Business has been slow lately, boy. People tell me bandits have made our neighboring forest their home. Anyone trying to get here is being robbed, or worse. It's made Baumusu nervous. He thinks it's the beginning of dark times. I think they just need a good kicking before they'll move on to someone else's forest. Hmm. Baumusu tells me you've become pretty good with that sword of yours. Uh, Maybe you could... Ah... Uh, well, maybe I've got some other work around here you could do. Uh, uh, how about washing down some tables for me, or uh, uh, mopping the floor? Uh, well, maybe you can help Tati clean dishes, or, or sweep up, or pick up after her. She's kind of a mess herself. People keep flushing foreign objects down the toilet, which... You want a treat? Cleaning the floor and washing dishes. Ha! This was not the kind of work my master was looking for. He was young and in search of adventure, freeing the land from murderous bandits. Now that was a job worthy of a warrior. He left that same day, his sword strapped to his back. Kuzo, his spirit guide, scouting the path ahead. The bandits had been terrorizing the local roads for months now. Rao had heard that they were camped out in some local ruins. He had also heard that they were many in number and skilled as swordsmen. <laughs> Good. Good. My master did not want this to be too easy.